Episode 2 of Hotel Transylvania, Organizational Re-Engineering, Creating Change with Minimal Conflict. With the hotel being so dynamic and so many things going on at once, Dracula is frustrated and needs weight lifted off of his shoulders. However, he is reluctant to bid off any of his formalized power and wants to have a say in everything. Mavis brings up the fact that his ethnocentric view and the need for his okay on every issue is slowing down business and threatening the reputation of the hotel as many issues arise that aren't dealt with in a timely manner. Reluctant as he is, he is he disregards Mavis until his secretary brings him to the concierge and double book and are causing a scene. He quickly snaps into realization that he needs to allow his qualified managers to make decisions that they need to make from now on so that his hotel doesn't fall apart. Mavis mentioned to Dracula that he needed to leverage the diversity of the hotel as a workplace so they work together as a unit without the need for constant approval of Dracula. Mavis tells her father that the employees need to be able to communicate issues without following the chain of his command. To lessen the impact of Dracula's fear for losing control, Mavis goes on to explain how important his role still will be by ensuring that he still he is still everyone's support system and couldn't do this without him. She explains how he is needed to support, provide support and guide their behavior to work effectively together all by leveraging their diversity. Dracula needs an incentive plan to motivate his managers to get their tasks without relying on the old method of always seeking his input and immediately calls a meeting where he splits the organization into teams that each have their own manager and create schedules for employees based on new and improved job designs that may be created for each position. He also explains how he created a reward program indicating the employee of the month and rewards them with scream cream. At this point, the employees are ecstatic and uplifted. He also explains that it will not be in his decision who wins, but it will come down to 360 degree feedback, including reviews from subordinates throughout the hotel. He explains to employees to not try and hold a bias when reviewing colleagues because the, quote, suits of armor are sure to be doing their role, and they will report back to him with any errant behavior out of the ordinary. He's using them as a second set of eyes and an information channel instead of ignoring their importance solely as security. After handing out his out plans of his newly re-engineered plan on the new organizational structure, the employees gain a new sense of importance and are motivated to make the difference. Mr. Fly and Quasimodo provided OJT training for the employees under their span of control and things were on the way. Mavis immediately began helping the concierge with her interpersonal skill training to help them with conflict resolution among the many guests. Mavis immediately compensated the upset guests with various amenities based on their preferences by giving the guests a guilt-free choice of a desired service offered by the hotel while she has the financial department issue refunds for being double booked. Guests are satisfied and the mayhem quickly simmers down to a fun and enjoyable night at the hotel. Dracula gains a new sense of what it means to manage effectively.